And what's going on, you bastards? Welcome back to another Grand Summoners video where we're going over some things on Global and going over some things here on the JP version of the game. So let's start for the Global first because it's honestly the... Uh, it's pretty short. So we're getting... Uh, what's her what's her nuts here? Um, Kokuri? Looks like uh, she is coming. She is part of the Ninja Scrolls. Uh, you know, same saga as, um, uh, what was it? Was it long? Was long? Yeah, because I was looking at this. I saw the banner. I'm just like, didn't 12th Gen Mizuki literally just come back? It wasn't on the Pola banner, right? Because we had Aristella Obis, we had Joker Celia, whatnot. But it was on, uh, well, this is the One Punch Man. This is Luana. Then, boom. On the long banner, Mizuki the 12th was right here. Just like, really? That's a pretty fast uh, return for a character, you know? And the logins, not really anything of any merit. And looking at her, because I didn't even know, like, I saw this character when it kind of came out on GP. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Like, you know, <laughs> when things come out on GP that aren't collabs and stuff like that, it's like, okay, we'll just wait for that to come to global, you know? Uh, let's see. So, her, she has a 6-star support, 5-star magic, 4-star magic, or 4-star heal of max LB. Skill, 13 seconds CT, fire damage 1800%, increase own arts gauge by 30. Uh, she's a magic damage dealer. Uh, then arts, 16,000% fire damage magic for 30 seconds, reduce enemies damage resistance by 20%, and crit res by 100%. So, that's... That, that she's pretty good right there, actually. And then for her true arts, 45,000% fire damage magic for 20 seconds. Reduce enemies' fire resistance by the number of fire allies in the party. So that could be good for uh, some fire nuking. Honestly, her, like, her skills are pretty short. Like the, the text and like description, they seem pretty short. Uh, then super arts, 100,000% fire damage magic. For 30 seconds, increase all allies' crit damage by 200%. Definitely very good for nuking. I I, I see that. Holy, holy shit. And then passive, skill CT when near death, up 20%. When own, HP is 50% or above, increase all allies' magic resistance by 20. Does not stack. Increase demon allies stats by 10% does not stack. And she is a fire demon. So we got another one for the the demon squad, baby. And then she got a true weapon. Got a true weapon here. Treasure skill. Uh, 30 seconds CT. Increase all allies arch gauge by 20 for 8 seconds. Increase all fire allies attack and damage by 30 percent so stonks going up for demons and fire it seems like when equipped by kokiri uh increase own arts gauge by three per second and equip ct by 20 percent does not stack increase own magic resistance by five and now get into the uh the nutty stuff right so the fake collab login right here part three Nothing crazy there. There's a bunch of stuff coming with the uh, the maintenance, like Alk banner, the summoning banner, uh, SPR, it's login, limited number of resets for the collab packs, yada yada. We got the rags event rerun. So summer Ilya. Oh my! Some <laughs> these people are idiots, man. Alright, so she is a uh, six star magic, five star support, four star magic, or four star heal. Uh, literally, just like Coker, we were uh, talking about. Wait, no, was she a six star? Never mind, I lied. Six star support. Okay, almost. Pretty close. Pretty close. And then skill 2500% water damage magic. Increase own arts by five per second for seven seconds. Uh, and it is EX1 Arts Gen type. Arts. 20,000% water damage magic for 20 seconds. Increase own attack by 100% and reduce enemies evasion rate by 50%. 
uh, does not stack with Kisaragi, Kush. Invasion rate does not stack with uh, Summer Fen, Marlet. Okay, attack buff and yeah. True Arts, 70,000% water damage magic. Heal all allies burn. For 45 seconds, increase all allies water damage by 100% and burn resistance by 100%. Burn resist does not stack with Nogia. Okay, I don't even know who that is. Super Arts, 150,000% damage magic. Increase own arts by 25 times the number of super arts that have been used. Max uh, 150. That'll be the arts filled up. Huh. For 30 seconds, reduce enemies' magic resistance by 100%. Stackable. When own HP is above 80%, increase own damage by 100%. When. Oh, and increase own freeze and paralysis resistance by 100%. Does not stack. Increase own magic resistance by 10%. Increase own BE output by 20%. Uh, has a SP art. Okay, so we're going to talk about this kit here, but I, I just want to go over her uh, true weapon, right? Then we'll get on to uh, Sakura Mato. Uh, so, 5-star magic, Ilya swimsuit, 55... What, what? 55 second CT, 8,000% water damage magic for 10 seconds. Increase own magic damage by 50%. If user is water, increase own magic damage by 100% instead. And then and when equipped by Summer Ilya, increase own damage by 30% and arts by 2 per second. Does not stack. Increase own attack by 5%. Uh, so initially reading over this stuff, it kind of seems like... Am I just not understanding? Because to me, initially, this doesn't look as really as crazy as some of the other characters we've been seeing for this crossover. I mean, it still seems really good, but at the same time, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't seem that crazy, you know? I mean, I, I feel like she is going to hit insanely hard and she does support her team a bit. Maybe she's a bit better than I'm thinking right now. Uh, yeah, because she can, uh, increase her own attack by 100%, reduce evasion, which is helpful. Uh, he all burns, kind of niche. Uh, increase allies' water damage by 100%, which, I mean, and burn resistance, which definitely can be really good on a mono water team. And then increase own arts times the number of super arts that have been used. Then reduce... The enemy's magic resistance by a hundred percent for thirty seconds. Hmm. I mean, are you just trying to spam this, get a bunch of arts bag, and and just keep going through it and just constantly spamming, lowering the magic resistance or something like that? I'm not sure. I, I mean, it depends on the fight, right? But I'm not sure what what would be ideal for this uh, Ilya to be doing you know i don't know we'll see it's always different like reading it on paper i'm not like a i'm more of like a visual learner or i gotta use it myself before i can kind of understand things not just read it all right so we're gonna move on here to sakura mato or is it matoi yeah i think it's matoi right i might be confusing that with another character mom 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 anyway and she is a dark human so, 6 magic, 5 defense, 4 magic, 4 support if LB7. 12 second CT, 2000% dark damage magic, increase own arts by 30. 500, well, nah, we don't care about the break right now. 28,000% uh, dark damage magic, increase allies arts by 20. 90% chance of inflicting blind for 15 seconds. Blind does not stack with Grohl's Nightmare Ailment, Wargle, or Regulus. True Arts. Oh, so it does Does that stack with... Uh, uh, the only character I can really think of right now is uh, Priestess. Uh, True Arts. 65,000% Dark Damage Magic. For 30 seconds, increase allies' magic damage by 150% and magic resistance by 30%. Magic Damage Buff does not stack with... Uh, yeah, Sublime, Supernova, Liza, Rin and Luvia, etc. And Magic Resist buff does not stack with Tia, Valentine, Sestina, etc. Then Super Arts. 160,000% Dark Damage Magic. 
For 30 seconds, reduce enemy's dark resistance by 150%. If enemy was blinded, reduce enemy's dark resistance by 200%. Instead, Dark Resistance debuff does not stack with Saber, Demon Lord Vox, etc. Uh, abilities increase leader's damage by 150%. Oh, okay. And arts by 5 per second. So that does not stack. Increase own blind resistance by 100%. Increase damage against humans by 50%. Okay, her abilities seem pretty good. And then looking at her true weapon, it is a swimsuit that is a 5-star magic, 50-second CT, 8,000% dark damage magic. For 10 seconds, reduce enemies' dark resistance by 30%. If the user is human, reduce the enemy's dark damage or dark resistance by 50% instead. When enemy is a... <sighs> when equipped by Summer Sakura Mato... Matoi... <laughs> Increase own attack by 40% and arts by 2 per second. Does not stack. Increase own arts by 5%. And then we're not going to get too much into the equips here because my throat is kind of hurting right now. I, I recorded for like a few hours yesterday and then streamed and then I'm doing this stuff this morning. So uh, we got a bunch more equips uh, on the way as well. So looking at Sakura, I think her kit does seem very good. Uh, so what is it? You kind of want to use this art here and flick the blinding to get the extra uh, damage resist or dark resistance down and whatnot. And then like if you're going more of a, I don't know, supporty damage type role, or I mean, you know, you have a, your team of magic dealers and whatnot. Uh, they're just going to be doing big damage. I can see, you know, using uh, Ilya as well. She'd just be getting like, I, I think, I think Ilya is going to just be doing crazy amounts of magic damage. Like she's going to, she's going to be murdering things <laughs> actually. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, Sakura is going to help her to do that. But anyway, you bastards, I hope you guys enjoyed. If I kind of miss anything or misunderstood anything in here, yeah, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, it's uh, these characters. I mean, the fate, I think, all around the, the crossover has, like, the best units. Like, in this crossover, I don't think there really is like a big time stinker of the unit right to where it's just like oh okay if you summon for that that's just going to collect dust because it's not really that good all of these characters are pretty insane so whoever is working at the good smile or you know on the gs dev team whatever they they really like them some fate units you know but anyway best is hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one take care but first, hi there. If you liked what you saw, thank you.